I guess I should start a, uh, <coughs> a sheep only fans. Hello. What are you saying, Edward? It's looking way better. Look at that. Oh, Billy's mom. What's the matter, honey? Well, hello. <coughs> Slammer in reverse. Yep. Giants. Wow. It is uh, Friday, Good Friday, and I still have three youth. Three plus uh, one that shouldn't be in here. Left to lamb, they look real close, so either I induce them today or just let nature take its course. They're really not taking up too much room. I have lots of room here for some ewe lambs that are pregnant. Um, so what I did was actually shut the water gate, give these guys this kind of uh, overflow pen here, so they have a ton of room. I'm gonna let them lamb out put them in here. So while we're waiting on these guys, actually today, I have to run up to my office and sort some breeding groups because today is day 13 of my cedars being in on that group. Okay, I have everything organized. I actually got this, because it's such a small group, I actually got them down to three breeding groups. So I'm gonna breed, I'm gonna breed one group to all Ritos. I'm gonna breed one group to the steel rams and I'm gonna put lucky with that group very small number of ewes so they should the ram to you ratio will be larger than it typically is so hopefully that will help with uh, conception rates because April doesn't seem to be very good for me and then the rest of them will be most of them are Rito sired so I'm gonna put those with the Dorsets and the Tunis um, and most of them are my younger ewes so I'm just gonna put them with my young brand new rams and then there's not even a chance to be related. So yeah, so I have three groups and uh, that should be easy for logistics in my barn as well, which is kind of what I like. It's easier for us even running them through here this morning. So I think Chris is just finishing up uh, feeding the one side that doesn't need to get moved. Oh yeah, they look so happy. I was able to do all this actually on the Gallagher, which is really quite nice. So um, I will I will copy this back, the database back on back onto the USB, the USB back onto my Gallagher, and then when I scan the U, it should come up under what I called group, and then and it'll tell me what RAM group I have to put those in with. So uh, it makes that part actually really quite slick. I can't see it working here if you're watching. Oh, I can't watch Okay, so if you remember 13 days ago, we inserted cedars in this group. We were really tired. We were just uh, in the middle of lambing, near the end of lambing, whatever. Uh, but today, the only other thing we're going to do, besides taking out that cedar, we're going to give them a dose of this uh, PMSG. 
and uh, what that does is just help her drop her eggs. So uh, what that cedar did was basically act as a, a way for them to stop their, their cycle wherever they are in their cycle. And when I pull out the cedar today, it's basically like starting a, like a starter's pistol. And then it ho hopefully should bring everybody to that starting line at the same time. So they should all be in heat within 24 to 36 hours and they should be in heat for another like 36 hours or something like that. And then um, what I'll do with these guys, they'll have their first cycle, which is now, and then in 17 days, they should be starting their second cycle if they missed getting bread on this one. So I'll give them two full cycles, 21 days, and uh, take the rams out at that point. All right. Cammy has a, uh, a, lip, a mic that he wears now, and it's wireless to the camera, I'm gonna get one of those. I'm assuming that's what he has, it's epic. All right, so I'm gonna lift the tail. Here's the, basically like a tampon tail right here. I'm just gonna pull it out. Just like this. Hello. Oh, nice, little box. Down. Uh, down, but I'll probably trip over it, so up five. And then we paint the tail ends. Chris is gonna put a mark of paint on its back end here. And it basically acts as a... Oh, I don't know, what, did you scan it? Yeah. Oh. Great. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, I didn't even check. Good, good call. It's a good thing she's with it. So what this does, this is acting as a reverse marking harness. So a lot of farmers would put a harness on the rams. I have too many rams. I don't want to play around with a harness. So we cheat. We just put this here and then hopefully the rams actually will smear it off. That'll give me an idea of uh, if the U got mounted or not. It's not really important. I get them scanned. So it's just basically for an observation for me whether I should be disappointed or not before they get scanned. All right, she is done. Ritos are gonna go that way and then anything else is just gonna divert back in. Okay, everybody is sorted and uh, put in their pens. I actually can't show you guys anything because YouTube continuously flags my videos with any mounting. Um, I guess I should start a, uh, <coughs> a sheep only fans. Not gonna happen. Yeah, so far there's a few ladies being chased but they're not in a standing heat yet. So I would say they're kind of right on course for, they might be a little more in the mood tomorrow after about 24 hours. Right now the boys are sniffing them out, but they're not all that interested. So yeah, hey Billy. A lot of boys, not so many girls. What are you saying, Edward? This corner are the steel, uh, steel rams and lucky. So there's four rams in that group there on the end. Not many use. And then this group are the Dorset and the Tunis boys with their ladies. So that's red, team red. And then the green ones are all the Ritos and their ladies. Hello, my lovely Ritos. Hello, hello. Oh, you're getting big. Mm -hmm. Hello, Willow. <laughs> Maddie, always eating. Look at that tummy. Look at that tummy. Look at that tummy. How's your orc? It's looking way better. Look at that. It's pretty much gone. Good 
boy, you look so much better. I guess I just wanted to uh, debrief a little bit where we are because I am really behind on my footage. Uh, during lambing, uh, just because lambing was such a slug this time, I couldn't upload every day, and which to you guys is like, yeah, like how do you upload? I find it's easier to edit when it's fresh in my brain. When I get behind or I'm like a week after it all happens, it's really hard to edit these videos. The videos are taking me probably twice as long. And so I literally took a few days of just not filming anything just so we could catch up. So uh, we're sitting at, it's Good Friday, so it's April 15th right now. And I think the last time I picked up the camera was probably a week ago. So uh, yeah, so we're still waiting for three U's to lamb. We've already pulled cedars in that group this morning, and we'll, we'll probably see a lot more activity starting tomorrow. Right now, the ewes just aren't very receptive. Uh, so I do have to kind of watch, because I don't want A, the rams to be kind of burning out, or the ewes to get chased around too much. So I just have to, I'm just keeping an eye out here the next couple hours just to make sure that's okay. I know I haven't talked about Mark a lot just because I've been stuck here. Um, he has been fixing a lot of tile, field tile. So, uh, yeah, that's what he's been doing for the last, I don't even know, since basically since the snow melted enough to get out there. Uh, so I might run out and see how he's making out. to be outside but basically mark this is one of two or three fields that he's been kind of trying to locate sorry my windows are really dirty locate plug tiles and uh, damage tiles and all the tiles <laughs> our typical intro is not gonna work this morning I don't know what's going on. Carissa said the door will not open. So I'm going to take this doorknob apart before everyone asks me if it's locked. It doesn't have a lock on it. So I don't know what's going on. We're going to see. this one off and it won't I stuck this in here to turn it doesn't turn to open that up I think it's like stripped more, already or the crap or something oh, okay. you got a flat screwdriver I don't or think like a something flat I think we'll get you one Yeah. That's weird, eh? That's oh, not for really. it. Oh, I just got it not that long ago. Ew. Oh, my coat stinks so bad. Okay, I'll just get a new door now. Do you need anything in town if I go? Um, what was I thinking? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. We went to town and got a new doorknob. Now we're cooking. Stall knobs. These are the stupidest. Okay, I got one. Hallelujah. How is our breeding? 
Just checking in on our Sheep Only Fans account. Some smearing going on here. Let's be careful not to show anything. Lucy, for whatever reason, I am able to show some fun stuff on Instagram. But on YouTube, sorry guys. <laughs> there still looks to be like a lot of red, non-disturbed tail ends. And Team Blue is not looking like much is going on. Thinking about it though. We are sitting at about 24 hours after we put in the boys yesterday, so we should be starting to see it now. I would say Team Green is well on their way. We won't know if they're bred for a while, but at least the uh, mechanics upstairs are working. Well, today technically is the last day of lambing, supposed to be, and we have a set of twins. I was having lunch. Well, hello. Good job. Look at that. already milked her out. When did you lay I haven't had that long in a lunch. Hello. Hello, baby. Mom is, uh, has got milk, but they've definitely had to drink already. She's pretty much milked out. I'm going to grab a bottle just, just to make sure I know they have a drink, especially this little one. It's really trying to get on her quite aggressively. This one was laying down, so it's probably already drank. We are now down to two more, and I think they'll probably go in the next day or so. What is that one doing over there? Slammer in reverse. Yep. If I try to tell you to go in reverse, you're gonna try to go forward.
All right, Mom. They're all yours. So we uh, found a little something outside. Trying to figure out where it belonged. And, uh, I believe it, belong it belonged to her. So I'm going to have some scraping out to do in here this afternoon. Here's we have another little set of twins. Hi! Oh, they're big. You did well. Wow. Whoa. They came out of you? They're huge. Good work. look happy. Good morning, Mom. <laughs> so we have one you left. The far one. That one. These yous have been great. Where It's like we've saved the best for last. They've been unassisted. I've been in the house. You guys, you never lamb when I'm here. <laughs> They're like, because you always record us. All right, I'm going to put these in a pen here and get them dipped up and uh, see if they drink. They look fresh. I don't want to speak too soon, but uh, the slamming is is ending a whole lot better than it started. Like two ewes, I don't even sure how old these are. They look like young ewes. Two lambs each, unassisted, good moms. I mean, if they all did that, I wouldn't really be needed out here. I'm hoping this girl is taking really good notes. No pressure. 